All right, here's a little homestead tip. If you have uh, snow or something to plow, uh, plow first because what I found out from my neighbors that do this all the time, um, once you get tracks, you know, that'll freeze and makes it a lot harder to drive on. So they say you should plow first before driving over it. So it's a lot easier to plow. Even my footsteps are gonna cause little ice pockets. I've seen, you, know, you see that when you shovel a sidewalk. You know, if you get out there and it's too late, uh, it's harder to shovel. So hopefully next time I remember to uh, plow first. I will remember, I'm not brain dead. Uh, so I'm actually walking up to the top so I don't have to drive again and uh, I guess it'll be enforced to me not to do this again so I won't have to walk up this hill in the snow which isn't that fun here are the tracks from this morning it's kind of where I turned I don't see that I slid at all which is pretty good yeah a little sliding up here Yeah, the tracks go sideways but yeah it's just more scary than anything I guess but it's a beautiful day and I'm gonna do some snow plowing okay so I'm going to put the plow onto Billy Ray Valentine and first I have to remove the bolts up here and I'm gonna lay it down. I'm gonna drive the truck uh, Billy over it and then attach the bolts. There's a bracket underneath I'll show you. And uh, it should be fairly easy. I should have done this before it snowed, but I figured that, uh, whatever, I didn't. But this will be the first time. Okay, so <clears throat> underneath, uh, just bolt these on, it's loose in there to give this uh, room to pivot. Uh, it's very simple, one over there, one over there. Next time, mental note for myself or anybody doing this, get the sockets, that looks like it's a 9 sixteenths. And the other one, maybe 5 eighths, I don't know, I can't see. I guess 9 sixteenths, half inch maybe. I don't hard to tell. That's definitely, uh, that's definitely one of them, anyway. Uh, when I was a mechanic, I could tell without even... Once, if I had the socket, I could just look. Anyway, uh... Ugh. So... That gets attached up there. This gets attached to Z-Vench. And, uh... And then you got a little... Tough plow on there. To plow that driveway. It's a very big driveway. So if I didn't have this, uh... I'd be just staying here and not doing anything else so this is for the wench so in out out is down this will be up so I'm gonna bring it in oh look at that look at that people Woo, and then down oh it, so that's pretty much it it's got socks on it it's got this lever right here actually anybody uh does anybody know what they're doing with this stuff I don't know what this thing's for I didn't figure it out. It's got a lot of snow on it, but I don't know what it does. There's a lever there. I can't see where it's going or what it's doing. That's bolted, that's bolted. I don't know, I don't know why it's, it doesn't look like anything's gonna move, but, oh, maybe the sideways. Oh yeah, this is, all right. So I could turn it sideways, so I have to power. All right, so I figured it out. So I'm going to just keep it straight for now because I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so here is my first time plowing with a quad, especially in the Ray Silence, but I've never plowed before. I've plowed in a uh, pickup truck. We used to actually borrow my friend's pickup truck when it snowed and we would go hustle at gas stations. But this is on dirt. The actual road is... Where's my hand? 
up a little bit. So this is dirt, so I'm just gonna see if I uh, can figure it out. I'm in reverse, I should probably go drive. Oh, I'm moving. All right, so I can feel that it's on the ground. And I can feel that it doesn't do anything. See, so. Oh, there it goes. Well, it might be working. <laughs> it seems fairly easy. I was talking to my neighbor the other day about four-wheelers, and I said, you know, I told one guy, I was like, yeah, I bought a little four-wheeler. He's like, yeah, he didn't buy a little one, he bought a big one. So he raised a, uh, a nice 650. So that's why his plowing is, I'm guessing, so easy. Let me see if I can push it over to the side a little. Those aren't mine. It might be the dog. Oh, let me see. Let me bring it up. Alright, let's see what we did. Oh, it's not too bad. It's not too good. But actually, on the road up there, it looks pretty nice. So let's try this again. Out. Alright, so it's definitely all the way out. Try on the road. Hope I don't get the dog. I think the road starts out here. Dump this out. And drive. I'm gonna go on one side first. Right, so this is behind me. Yeah, see it's kind of scraping up dirt. The rocks. I don't really like that. some pressure off it. Oops. It looks like the dog. My helper. Eddie, how's it look? Will you think it's okay? He doesn't know. All right, let me just uh, keep doing this and uh, I'll get back to you guys. Hopefully I don't mess up the road. Some. Nah. Nah, it's not too much. All right, let me keep working on this, and uh, maybe you'll see a finished product soon, or you will. If it's not real time. <laughs> hey, I don't know if you can see it, but kind of where Eddie is, um, I'm plowing the whole road, but I'm figuring that I should just do one lane. With this, go all the way down one lane, drive back up the lane I did, because driving up it, especially at the steep angle, is uh, is nonsensical. So I could just go down. Let's see if I could do it one-handed here. Uh, that out. It's it's quite scary going down, as you can tell. Um, probably not advised to do this one-handedly while videoing so that's something else but I'm just gonna keep doing this because it does a good job pushing it over and I bet you this is why it used to be a good time to actually angle it I'm gonna do that please hold so I can't pull this up, um, so I thought of you know another way of doing it, and I was like, hey, maybe they were very helpful and pushed it down. 
Oh, look at those smart engineers. So you push it down, you don't pull it. I just thought it went with the spring. And then now it's blocked sideways. So I'm going to push it down the hill. And it's going to be facing this way, so it's going to push all the snow off to the side. Which will be nice and create like a little buffer in case they do slide. Alright. There's the mercy brake. Switch hands. Got my foot brake on right now. Ugh. See if that works. And put it in gear. Ooh, yeah. That definitely works, as I thought it would. There's Daisy. Daisy's a little jealous. She doesn't have a plow. Uh, she's getting a wench for Christmas. Don't tell her. She can't hear. She doesn't really watch the YouTube videos, so uh, she won't know. But yeah, Daisy's going to get a wench. I don't know if Daisy will ever get a plow. This is good enough. I don't want to spend money. I don't need to. You know, to build my homestead, I, uh, I do have a limited budget. Now I'm going to try to go do it up. Billy is definitely capable of going up this without any problems. So I was initially going to go uh, just drive up on the cloud part and come down it again. But... It's doing very taking uh, no effort to do this, so it's going up this high. I just have to figure out the best path for this. Remember the approach in my other video? We'll be going it down this morning. You can see the Jeep tire I'm going over. But see, now I'm sliding, so this is definitely the long approach. But it's still going up, so ah, this is really tough. I don't know if you can see it, but I am driving sideways. I shouldn't have stopped. But she's still Come on, Billy! You can do it! Woo! Ah! Come on! Woo! Billy did it! This is Eddie Murphy, and we're going to try to drive up the hill in the Jeep. Alright, let's see if we can do it. Four-wheel drive, it's pretty much plowed. I'm sticking true to the road. Oh, my MTA carton fell over. This is the hard part. This looks actually really nice. See the tree? Maybe an idiot, I don't know. Here. Look at that. A couple hours of plowing. I don't even know if it was a couple hours. It was fairly quick. Uh, la la la. I'm going to try to drive up it without it being plowed. Up the grass here. It's working. Working quite nicely. So see, say hi to Teddy. I'm going to get some. Actually, I'm going to park the Jeep up way up top and upload uh, these videos. Don't go next door. Ah, you fell in go for a hole. He's crazy. He's so crazy. Wish 
Johnny Cat. Johnny Cat's in the yurt. Just keep it nice and warm. Alright, everybody. Uh, that's a fun day of snow clown getting the pod uh, ready for winter. And I learned a little uh, how to snowplow, what not to do. Uh, it's a lot easier to go down the hill than going up. Up actually wasn't, I mean, I was able to do it, but it was sliding and just compacting the snow. I wasn't really doing anything. So plow down the hill first, go up, come back down with the plow. Uh, let's see. I know, it's a beautiful day. I mean, the... The lighting's beautiful. I don't know if I me mean, guys could see it. Look at this. Look at that view. This is my uh, my office window here on the homestead. Let's see what the other side looks like. The other side, it's windy over here. So stay behind the GPU. It's been a great day. Getting ready for winter, like I was saying. Hanging out with Eddie Murphy. Getting my life in order, getting it situated to where I could, you know, for the most part, be uh, self-sufficient, be mostly off the grid as much as I can. You know, I still got to buy things like propane and gasoline and food for now. But, you know, every, every step that I take is a step to more personal freedom and uh, putting myself in a better place. Oh, and it's kind of fun. Having a great time doing it. So thanks for watching my videos. Uh, please tell your friends. You know, more people that watch them, the more comments I get below, and the more likes, the more you know discussion, discussion, discussion I have on with people. And I've been actually learning a lot from people commenting on uh, on the video. So please tell your friends. Anybody that knows snow plowing or knows anything that you see me doing wrong or right or any suggestions to make it better, please let me know. So this is Dennis Allen, and I am out, and I'm also pretty damaged. Get it? Damaged wear? That was back in the day. Revive. Now it's Dennis Allen. Alright guys, check out DennisAllen.com, tell your friends. Woo-wee!